number of people out of work in South Carolina is the lowest it's been in years. But is South Carolina on the right track or wrong track? And is our state legislature doing enough? Those are the questions we asked voters in our Palmetto Politics poll. WYFF News 4's Nigel Robertson has the answers. We wanted to give you a look at what voters across the state are thinking as Election Day gets closer. So we conducted our own scientific poll. It's called the Palmetto Politics Poll. First question, do you approve or disapprove of the job the state legislature in Columbia is doing? By phone, we asked 1,000 people if they approve, disapprove, are undecided, or refuse to answer. The poll found 22% approve. Now let's take a look at the other results. 45% disapprove. 33% are undecided and 1% refuse to answer. Analysts say this result is fairly common because voters tend to be far more critical of the institution than their own local lawmakers. The second question, is South Carolina going in the right direction or has it gotten on the wrong track? After asking hundreds of people across South Carolina, the poll found 44% believe the state is going in the right direction. But take a look at this. 41% think it's in the wrong direction. 14% are undecided. 1% refuse to answer. Analysts say this trend is worse in other states, which is good news for Governor Nikki Haley. But it could be good news for her challenger, Vincent Shaheen, because the right track, wrong track is so close. Margin of error for our poll usually ranges from 3 to 4%. That is a 95% confidence level. More. Palmetto Politics poll questions and more of your answers all week. So we want to give you even more perspective on what those numbers mean. South Carolina political analyst Chip Belkel explained. The economy is picking up, but is it trickling down yet to affect people's everyday lives? And that would indicate that people aren't complete, completely convinced of that case. More on our Palmetto Politics poll tomorrow at 6. We will look at the approval ratings of both of our senators, and we will look at Senator Graham's race now that Thomas Ravenel has decided to